going to walk through repairing the Xbox 360 three red lights. Uh, this Elite was bought off of eBay with already having the three red light error, so we're going to see if we can repair it and do the video tutorial so that we can document how to do it. Um, some of the tools that you need, Torx T9. Uh, it's pretty much the only Torx that you need. Um, I use a small Phillips screwdriver to get the covers off. Uh, a very small jeweler's uh, regular head screwdriver. AS5 thermal compound, Arctic silver, razor blade to clear the, uh, the old paste off of the dies. And M5 10 millimeter screws, uh, nylon washers, and corresponding metal washers. I also do a little bit of extra stuff uh, thanks to Wilhelm on Xbox Scene or Xbox Experts. Uh, it's a little, little bitty square pieces of credit card that you place on the four corners of the GPU and CPU. It just helps push the heat sink down. Uh, first thing we need to do is remove the hard drive if it has one. This one doesn't. So go ahead and remove the face plate. It just unsnaps. The next thing you do is remove these covers. The one where the hard drive is, a little bit trickier. Um, you've got to get a screwdriver in, kind of angle it in from the side, and you'll feel it grab the, that post on the inside, and then just pull it to the inside, and it should pop up and release. There we go. And all the others, you just need to look down. from the inside. Makes it a little easier to see it. last one you're going to have to open this rubber piece, take this rubber piece off and expose a hole underneath it to get that last corner off. This one here, you can see the Microsoft label is still intact, not for long. Usually I just get a razor blade and cut it, that way it doesn't tear oblong. It's going to come apart anyway. I'm going to just take these pieces up front, separate them. to pull it apart while you're doing this. That way they separate easier. Just keep that apart. 
apart just a bit and flip it over. And you've got two little slits on this side. You've got five down here. All you do is take your jeweler's screwdriver and place it inside and push down and it should click. As it clicks, just pull apart while you're clicking them. And then do these two on the other end. If it doesn't click, then you're not getting it right. Sometimes you have to angle the screwdriver in a little bit. There we go. Now the side has clicked. got six T9s that are holding this to the underside of the case. Here, 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 this one, the center, the outside. And once you do this a couple of times, uh, you know, won't even unscrew the wrong ones. All the other pieces are actually holding the motherboard to the bottom case. are still on this one by these eight little black screws. That's what's holding the X clamps on. Once you remove those six, go ahead and take your small screwdriver and just place it just underneath the DVD eject button and just pry it and pop it out a little bit. Real fragile if you're not careful, you can snap it 